So as we're back with another Starfield build, today is another Star Wars theme build that we are doing a Mandalorian. So obviously you want to be a bounty hunter, which automatically gives you a jetpacks, a targeting system, and piloting. Obviously you want to get all these leveled up. Jetpack is, is I think the most important thing in here just because of the fact that Mandalorians are known to have their jetpacks. Now I'm going to go to the traits. Definitely introverts. Our collective would make sense. I'm going to go with Terra Firma for this just because all, all the Mandalorians that we see really do. Obviously they have their, they have ships and stuff like that. They are all, most effective on the ground. Except with the jetpacks obviously. So you know, they're going to pretty much all forms of weapons. I'm going to focus in on range weapons. I have a plan. Trust me, I have a plan for a melee build. i definitely say rifles would be good. I, I'm unsure about the particle beams and EM weapons. Again, the game is not... Uh, at the time of recording this, the game is not out. So we, um, these three will have to wait and see. Um, obviously, personal preference. If you guys want to use shotguns and pistols with this, if you go, uh, you go ahead and grab those perks as well. Um, crit chance and reloading. I would say not sniping unless you wanted to. Um, but this one's this one right here. These two are personal preference. Then these bottom ones are too good to not take, especially if you're going to be using guns. Um, Mandalorians, I would say, are pretty good at breaking into things if they need to. Um, they have fast ships. Don't they probably don't particularly care about their cargo bay. Um, and they de definitely, well, you know, I was going to say they care about the shields, but we all saw what happened to the Razor Crest. Um, when it comes to the, uh, weapon systems, that, this one, honestly, entirely personal preference again. We don't necessarily, the game is not out, so we don't know which of these is going to be the best. And because they're going to be using the jetpack, the boost assault training, obviously very good. Um... All of these is basically for gameplay purposes. As um stated in the um on solo build. Because all these are just too good. If you decide that you don't care about any of these, um then go ahead. Completely optional I'd say for these. Um actually except chems, definitely not I feel like a lot of these will just make your life easier. Yeah, and Mandalorians are definitely intimidating. This one is just for e gameplay purposes, I'd say. Actually, no. Let's not do that. Mandalorians are strong, tanky. Definitely some of them are sneaky. This one's personal preference. I'm gonna be if I ever use a build, I'm gonna be taking it. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely am going to be using this build at some point at least. I'm going to drop some of these. This is about where I would put a level two hundred oh, level one hundred fifty Mandalorian bounty hunter build. Um, again, because I'm limiting all these to level one hundred fifty, there's some skills that you probably would want to take, which you can obviously slot in. I, again, I feel like this is a game that you can very easily get to two hundred level two hundred plus without um even having done everything, just due to how many skills there are, but be fair in Fallout 4, you did need to be like level 300 to get all the perks. So, um, who, who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, this is what I'd say is about what you'd want for a level 150 Mandalorian build. Um, again, link in the description to both the character build planner and this build in particular. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Have fun with this build.